Y'all ain't subscribed yet? Man, like, share, subscribe. Hit that like button right now. My brothers, Joe, Brian, and Cedric. What are we doing? You go to church? Uh, not too often. But y'all been to church, right? Yeah, absolutely. So how many times have you actually seen a pastor actually reading out of the Bible? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. But according to the Bible, how are we supposed to prove the word of God? <laughs> By reading out of the Bible, right? right, right. So we're going to read this slowly. And what we're going to do is do a process of elimination. We have two images right here. Y'all can come on right here. Y'all can stay in the shade. I understand it's hot. But hey, your brother's out here in the sun. It's important because we will follow images quicker than we'll follow what we've read. That's right. You know that? We just a, 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 a very image-oriented people. Right. We follow. Most of the time in books, what are we, what are we looking for? Uh, pictures. Pictures. That's right. That's it, right? So now, all these years, the people that now claim that they love us, they never showed us that according to the Bible, Jesus Christ is a so-called black man. That's they right. never showed us that. So if they lied about his image, don't you know they lied about his message? That's right. His message is only to a certain people. Now let's see what he looks like according to the Bible. Read that. The book of Revelation, uh -huh. chapter 1 and verse 14. Now once again, what are we reading? The Bible. That's Nobody right. up here is standing and reading out of their own mind. Right. Or how they feel or what they think. We're reading out of the word of God. Read again. His head, his what? His head uh -huh. and his hairs were white like wool. 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 Cedric, take your head off. What, right. what animal on this earth has wool textured hair? You know. We like to interact. What? Sheep. A sheep. That's right. What was another synonym for Jesus Christ? They called him what? The lamb. The lamb. Of God. So what people on this earth have woolly textured hair? Black people. Black, right. Hispanic, and Native American people. It just is what it is. Now, have you ever heard that in the church? No. Never. Why not? Probably not their narrative. Mmm, there you go. That's a that's a new gospel. That's a new doctrine. Because we are commanded to teach what thus saith the Lord. That's right. So his head and his hairs. We're white like wool. That gave us texture and color. Read. As white as snow. Fully, fully white. Which one of these images, Joe, Brian, Cedric, which one of these images fit that? So, what we're bringing out here for the, for the community to see, Dude. are we making this up? Did we just happen to grab some signs and, and, and got a depiction and say, hey, this is Christ? Or are we proving it out of the scriptures? Right. That's what That's the Bible right. commands us to do. First Thessalonians said, prove all things. So the men of Israel, with Israel united in Christ, right. we've been taught to prove out of the word of God. That's right. Keep reading. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now, most of the times, the images that we see in the movies, that we see in the television shows, what color eyes does Jesus have? Blue. Blue. That's right. But what did we just read? Wake him up. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. What color is a flame? Orange. Orange. Give me another color. Red. That's right. What was Jesus Christ was real? Remember, this is interactive. Because guess what? We should go into any country, any state, any city, and ask these questions because our communities are riddled with Christian churches. Right. But why ain't they teaching what thus saith the Lord? Right. Somebody's lying. That's right. So, what was Christ's first miracle? Uh, he turned something into something. Right. He turned water into wine. That's right. Christ drank wine in moderation. Right. Even us, when you drink a little of the wine, the whites of our eyes turn what? Red. Red. That's right. We're reading the Bible. But they never bring this out in the church. Why not? Why not teach that? Let's see. Let's go a little bit further in these scriptures. Read. And his feet uh -huh. like unto fine bread. Now, my brothers, if y'all had y'all, like you got socks on on your sandals, right? Are your shoes, I mean, are your feet a different shade, a different color than the rest of your body? Uh, maybe a little lighter because of the sun. But is it is it a whole different color? No. No. Right. So John the Revelator looked down and he saw Christ's feet and said what? 
like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brown. Brown. But once again, these churches, inside the churches, the murals, the, the movies, the, 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 the posters, he's always portrayed as what? White. See, we're going to deal with that white thing. Because I've never in my life met a person that was white. Ever. Have you? You ever, you ever met a white person? What color is Joe's shirt? That's white. Have you ever seen somebody that color? So why do you think they want us to call them white? So what does white know. what does white mean? Pure. Pure. That's right. Is it pure to take a nation of people and subject them to genocide? Bring it out. To take over land? Right. To kill men, women, and children? No. Bring it out. To to take their life life source as far as the bison, the buffalo, and kill it all to starve them out? Is that a pure people? No. How is how is a people that kill, murder, slaughter your people? Not gonna teach you what righteousness is according to the Bible. That's right. We've been fooled to yeah, believe right. a people can teach us how to live righteous when they are the wicked, right. according to the Bible. Right. Let's go further. Brown, right? Read. And his feet like unto fine brass, uh -huh. as if they burned in a furnace. That's now, right. the scriptures that said that Jesus Christ was in color to brown. That's right. But burned. Now, I ain't the smartest person, but anything I've ever burned or seen burn turns what color? Black. 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 Joe? Black. Black. That's right. That's right. But once again, why is Jesus Christ portrayed as a so called white man? Bring it out. A Caucasian. Right. The black Messiah is black, according to the Bible. That's right. Why won't you teach that? Why are they not teaching this? Wake them up. We have churches a mile down the road, three, four lined up. Right. But you look on the billboard or they little uh, uh, sponsors outside, it says, Jesus this, or, or some uh, some verse here. Bring it out. That's supposed to be teaching you righteousness. Right. right. What's righteousness, by the way? Doing what's right. It's like integrity. Mm. Joe, what you think? It's doing what's right in the Lord's eyes, and what's right in the Lord's eyes is following the law. Now, understand something. So, you, the end part, you got it right. Once again, we are putting these Christian churches on blast. That's right. If all of our people are flocking to these churches, why don't they know what righteousness is? You know. So, I, I'm just going to go to the soldier with the microphone, and let's see if he's going to pull what righteousness is out of the Bible. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty, chapter 6, verse 25. It and it shall be our righteousness. What's the subject, my brothers? Righteousness. Righteousness. So we're learning what what is. What righteousness is, right? You see how simple it is? This Bible is really simple. That's right. But the Christian church has turned the Bible into a genie. Right. A lamp. You just right. rub on him and he pop out and do what you want him to do. Right. He accept you for whoever you are. Come as you are. You don't have to change. But that's not in the scriptures. Right. So why are we following a man-made religion? Why are we following lies? Wake him up. Keep reading. It shall be our righteousness uh -huh. if we observe if we observe to do all these commandments. The Bible says if if is a condition, right. the Christian church teaches that God loves unconditionally. Bring it out. So who are we to believe? The Christian church or what thus saith the Lord? See. So if we are keeping God's laws, that is what? That's, right. That's righteousness. Yeah. You see how simple that is? So are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans today, are they living righteously? Hmm, probably not. So how would you know somebody is living righteously? By the Bible. Okay, so right. how are we as men, we're all men up here, right? What are we supposed to have on our face according to the Bible? Why does that, not? see Cedric? Bruh, when I heard this truth for the first time, I was like, wait a minute, why ain't nobody ever taught me that? It's that same perplexed look that you got right now. But we frequent these churches. That's right. And you're not teaching that the males are supposed to have something on their face. That's right. Look at your father. What's on his face? 
A beer! Right. Look on Joe's face. A beer! Right. All these men out here that believe in with us at the Lord, you can look, you can see the righteousness that's upon them. But guess right. what? We're going to teach you what you, as a young man, as a young king, supposed to have on your face. Because I see you growing something, but it also looks like you're shaving. Now let's see what we're supposed to be doing that. I'm just saying, if you ain't, don't do it. Let's see what the Bible says. Am I just saying it? Is it a fashion statement? Let's see what the Bible says. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. What does that mean? Once again, we like to interact because, once again, these churches ain't teaching it. So if we ask questions, y'all should respond with what answers? Out of what? Out of the Bible. That's, right. That's how simple it is. Right. But we ask our people that go to these churches all their life questions out of the Bible and they give us what? A song and dance or what they pastor taught us. Right. That's right. But it's not what the Bible says. That's right. Right. And the Bible says in Acts 5 and 29, we ought to obey God rather than man. Right. Because man is lying to us. Right. Read it again. They shall not make boldness upon their head. Joe, what does that mean? They shall shave. Should shave? No. Should shave what? Their head. Okay. Well, That's so right. Shouldn't shave it off? You shouldn't shave it off. Complete? Not at all. Shouldn't make it skin, right? None at all. Y'all agree? Say that you agree? That's I right. mean that that that's this we gotta interpret it as it as it's written, right? That's right. Just as like it said. Right. Read it again. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Is that a suggestion? No. no. Do you have a possibility that you might be able to or you could no, that's, a that's a demand that's that is right. a command that's right but the church ain't teaching that let's go a little further read neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard right what that mean how simple is it i know it might seem mediocre what i'm saying but guess what obviously our people don't understand what the bible says that's right they're not being taught it right so it's simple this is supposed to be so simple that a baby can get it right you know what i mean babe spiritually you know what i mean yeah. so why is it that our people the men the so-called blacks hispanics and native americans if you can grow a beard why they don't have beards most of these pastors don't have what beards, beards. that's right so who's lying Pastor. They are the pastor. You know what I mean? Now let's go a little further. How old are you, Cedric? Fourteen. Fourteen. You been uh, influenced to get a tattoo? You, you ever heard of Lecrae? You know who Lecrae is? Uh, no. Okay, don't worry about it then. <laughs> so a lot of these, what are, what are some of the fads that the youth follow today? Oh, no. and music videos and, and gang affiliation. How do you know if somebody affiliated with a gang? They normally are what? Tatted it up. That's right. Now I got a simple question because Lecrae was asked a long time ago. I remember, can we get tattoos? Guess what his response was? No. Yes, because Lecrae has tattoos, oh. well. and he's supposed to be a gospel or Christian rapper. Bring it out. But even in his rapping, he's lying. That's right. He's teaching opposite of what the Bible says. Right. Now let's see what the Bible says. Read that. Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. Now when you get a tattoo, what is happening with that needle? What is it doing? It's cutting your flesh. How many people have you seen with tattoos of Tupac? Bring or the out. praying hands? Only God can judge me. White Jesus. Oh, especially that one. I would, think about this. That's a destroyed mind. That's right. You got a God that doesn't look anything like you tatted on your back, on your body, in pain that you sit for hours in full detail. How destroyed are we as a people? Right. A God that doesn't look like us? This is the God that put us in slavery. You know. How destroyed are we as a people? So what is Bi what does the Bible say about tattoos? Don't do it. Don't do it. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.